What is up, everybody? It is I, French Tomahawk, and, uh... Whoa, 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 why are you guys pissed at me? What did I do to you? We're gonna be talking about my movement speed build. Um, this build allows you to, uh, basically go anywhere you want while over-encumbered and, uh, pick up whatever you want. As much as you want. As you can see, I am incredibly over-encumbered. Um, but this basically revolves around a couple of different key mechanics. First mechanic is uh, the perk uh, of Strongback, which allows you at rank 3 to uh, run at the cost of action points while over encumbered. Now this character that I'm playing on is my highest level character currently. Um, I've been playing on them for a while and they are completely legit. No mods, no interactions whatsoever. I'll go over in the details of the build in a second here and a little test area I put together. But before I do that, I just want to say that uh, this build isn't the end all be all. I personally like this build a lot um, and the reason I'm putting this video out is because I haven't seen many if any videos regarding these subjects whatsoever and uh, I think it's strong enough to uh, to merit uh, some uh, some information being discussed about it. Now it's a pretty detailed build. There's a lot of pe specific pieces that go into it um, and you kind of need all of them for it to work really effectively. Um, but if you don't have them, uh, it can still be beneficial uh, either way. So we'll head over to uh, my other character and go into detail about what this build can accomplish. Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the testing grounds where we test out all sorts of different stuff regarding this build. So, the uh, the pieces you need for this build are these. You need the Black Ops right shin guard or another leg piece that has the Sprinters legendary mod. They basically just increase your movement speed by 10%. Um, uh, Black Ops right shin guard can be purchased uh, in good, not good neighbor, but uh, Bunker Hill. Recon Marine right arm. This is the only right arm or arm piece in the game that increases your movement speed by 10%. This is bought from the Nucleus and the Far Harbor DLC. You have a Destroyer's left leg um, or any other Sprinter left leg. This one in particular is purchased by uh, or purchased from Daisy and Good Neighbor. And then you have the Captain's Hat or you can use Oswald's Top Hat. The Captain's Hat is from the Rite of Passage uh, quest in Far Harbor and Oswald's top hat is uh, obtained after uh, completing uh, the Kitty Palace in uh, the Nuka-Cola World DLC. There's kind of two phases to this build uh, that have effectiveness. So the first one is, um, let's put everything on. If you're running, this isn't costing me any AP, and if I sprint, it's basically at the same speed. So the big benefit to this build, right off the bat, if you have all these armor pieces, is that um, you can r run at sprinting pace without having to spend any AP. So that's really beneficial, but where this build really comes like online, if you want to call it that, is at level 44. Because at level 44, you have access to a couple of different of perks that allow you to do some pretty ridiculous stuff. So we'll get into that as soon as I finish running this course. All right, so where this build really comes into being beneficial is movement while over encumbered. So this is the standard movement while over encumbered. Well, with this armor, it's still extremely slow, unacceptably slow and pretty stupid but uh, so this character uh, first of all I just leveled him uh, using console commands so what we're gonna need is we're gonna need to get level 44 we're gonna need strength at 6 we need strong back rank 5 so I wanna point out strong back rank 3 is what allows us to do all this so strong back rank 3 says when over encumbered you can use action points to run if I just showcase that real quick Okay, now I can run by using action points. In addition to the plus 40% move speed, I'm moving at sprinting pace while over encumbered. However, it is at the cost of AP. This character also has one agility right now. So this is all based off of the lowest possible AP you can have. 
which is 70. Um, unless you have stat debuffs and things like that that lower your agility. Um, and we'll get into things that increase your agility as well later on. Alright, so back into the perks. So now we have rank 3. We want to get rank 5, which is available at level 40. So this says when overencumbered, running costs 50% less action points. So now you can see if we run, it takes longer for our action points to drain. Still not that effective. Let's go ahead and bump up our agility now, because obviously max agility is going to help these perks, or this. So now we have 10 agility, and now as you can see it takes a lot longer for our AP to drain, okay? A whole lot longer, but still you can see that this would drain fast enough to where it would, wouldn't be crazy effective. But there's one more perk that we need to pick up, or actually two more perks. Um, Moving target rank 3, which is available at level 44, which is why I say this build really comes online at level 44, because it's the highest level perk that we need for this to be effective. This says sprinting costs 50% less action points or few action points. Strong back rank 5 says running costs 50% less action points. The key difference being sprinting versus running. Now, for some reason, because you're spending action points while over encumbered to run, the game thinks you're sprinting for whatever reason. And so basically, moving target rank 3 also affects this. So if we grab moving target, you can see that now my AP is going down 100% slower. So now my AP, which I leveled, is 160, is more like I have 320 AP, which is insane for running. And so now you can see where the effectiveness of this build comes in, right? Because now you can be lugging all the loot around from a single, you know, outpost or something like that. And you can still move freely. Now another perk that's very beneficial to have that I would recommend is Action Point Rank 3, which makes your Action Points regenerate 75% faster. That's really beneficial, because now the downtime between having AP to run and not is lessened. So let's just test this out real quick on this track. So our AP's sprinting or running cost, however you want to call it, is now reduced by 100%. And then our AP refresh rate is increased by 75%. So between those three perks, strong bike rank 5, um, moving target rank 3, and action boy rank 3, we've got a pretty busted combination when you're using this armor. Because if you're not using this armor, just to show you real quick. Flipping slows molasses, bro. Can't sprint running that slow. But if you do have it all on. Flipping lightning speed McQueen over here, dude. And I know it's 40% doesn't seem like a lot, but especially on survival mode when you can't fast travel, it adds up to quite a bit. Okay, now a couple other perks that can be beneficial is um, gun Quick Hands uh, Rank 3 gives you an additional 10 action points. Uh, the Agility Bobblehead, if you get your hands on it, gives you another 5 or 10 agility. And then um, there's a couple of magazines as well that you can grab that give you um, additional AP. But I want to go into the aid aspect, so we'll let our AP regenerate fully here. Okay. And when I want to go to the 8. So here's just a, a couple of the easy to obtain items that increase uh, the effectiveness of this build. So anything that increases agility or maximum AP or AP regeneration rate are things you want to look at uh, when you're trying to increase the effectiveness of this build. In addition to this, uh, items like Nuka-Cola, Nuka-Cola Quantums, or Mirelurk Omelets especially uh, also increase a flat amount of AP, so if you're running out of AP and you want to keep running, you can consume these items to maintain that speed. But uh, cooked soft shell meat, it's pretty easy to get. Cooked death claw steak, still at level 44, you should have enough death claw steaks, and like you're not really going to use this for anything anyway. Uh, jet fuel is really, really good. It, to make this, you just need uh, five flamer fuel and one jet, and then the first rank of chemist. So it's really, really cheap to make. Um, this increases your max AP by 35, and it also increases your action point recovery rate. There's mole rat chunks. Only increase your max AP by 5, but they're pretty easy to get. And then roasted mylark meat increases your max uh, AP by 10. So let's just take one of each of these and check our AP. So now our AP is at 245, 
And then because of the jet fuel, my action point recovery rate's also going to be increased. So now let's run. So you can see now that my AP is draining extremely slowly. And this, you can also increase this even further if you are wearing things like the military fatigues, which increase your agility by two, and different uh, pieces of uh, clothing in the remaining slots that aren't being taken up by your equipment. So you still have chest and your left arm. So if you're wearing like a cunning chest and left arm, those both increase your AP, or not your AP, but your... Uh, your agility by one. There's also armor that increases your AP refresh rate that you can look into getting. Um, and so there's a whole bunch of ways to increase uh, the potential of this build even further. But you can see even just using those few consumables and not even have any of the magazines or the bobblehead or anything like that. So this can get a lot higher. And then there's, uh, there's other consumables as well that increase it. Like uh, I know Vim Refresh from the Far Harbor DLC increases your action point recovery rate. So that's uh, really beneficial. But uh, I decided not to include any of the DLC stuff because those things can be kind of obnoxious or challenging to get a hold of. But we were able to make it around the entire track pretty much twice with that. And now we're done. Okay, and then let's watch. And our AP is flipping just flying back up. So you can run for an extremely long amount of time. And uh, jet fuel, I think, lasts eight minutes. But if you um, get the chemist perk, each rank of chemist increases how uh, how long your chems will last. Myrlurk egg omelet, it costs one Myrlurk egg and one dirty water. So it's a really cheap recipe. But basically, it increases your AP by a flat 50. And uh, it's a pretty easy recipe to get. So if you just have it in your uh, hot bar and you have a lot of them, and again, you can carry as much as you want because you're over encumbered and you're still moving at this pace. Um, you can just eat it whenever your AP is getting low. And then you'll just be able to keep running. One last thing I wanted to touch on that I didn't get to talk about before is as far as uh, armor mods go, you can do a lot of different things with your armor to increase your maximum AP and things like that. But uh, uh, this one in particular, the custom fitted mod, um, this mod makes it so sprinting also takes less AP. Um, so it's really, really valuable uh, to make. I'll just show you what's required to make it real quick. So in order to make custom fitted, you need armor rank 3 and then you need adhesive leather rubber and spring. So it's pretty cheap. You just need rank 3 armor. Um, but that also decreases the amount of AP it costs to sprint. So that compounds on top of uh, Strongback Rank 5 and uh, whatever the other one was. I can't remember the name of it right now. Moving Target Rank 3. Um, and I uh, I did a little bit of an experiment to, uh, to see if I ate every single AP item I had on my uh, crazy leveled character. And every max AP, every AP regeneration, and every agility, what would happen? And uh, it was it was pretty chaotic. So I'll leave you with that. AP. So. Okay. So now I have 502 AP. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these status effects. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Look at my AP. It's not even draining, bro. Bro. My AP is not even draining and I'm over encumbered. This is going to take me forever to lose any. So I'm pretty sure this is close to, if not all, the additional AP boosters. Am I even over encumbered at this point? Yeah, I am incredibly over encumbered. Am I losing AP at this point? I've lost, 
I've lost one AP, you guys. I'm using action points so effectively because of my armor that I'm not... Dude, this changes everything. I didn't even know it was this broken. Holy mother of... Guys, if this is just primarily from the armor, because I'm trying to think of what items I consumed... Oh my guys. This is it still has only gone down one. Guys, what the flip is happening? Hold on. I'm gonna go get my younger brother.